Is it's it fair funny. to say you kind of lost your temper a little bit during Yeah, this? but not intentionally, though. He told me what happened. Something about glass. He, he saw he saw glass. Something about glass. And then he saw blood. That's all he told me. I was doing this with him, try, and then I did this really hard. It's precise and deliberate. That doesn't happen randomly. What happened prior to that? I would not do nothing. That's where the injury is. The hospital had to do it. Oh, my. Okay. On October 21st, 2023, an investigator with the Florida Department of Children and Families alerted the Holly Hills Police Department near Daytona Beach, Florida, about a possible case of child abuse that they'd recently been made aware of. The case was so disturbing that it was almost difficult to believe and made their blood run cold. The incident had taken place four days earlier, and an investigation immediately got underway. Authorities had to determine if it was an unfortunate accident or an unfathomably cruel act. Some of the footage you're about to see has never been seen before. This is, okay, so he's cousin or brother to the child's mother, mm -hmm. and this is the mother of the mother. So grandma. Yeah, so it happened at grandma's house. And grandma lives there too? Yes. Is there any other kids in there? No. Prior to leaving for work on Tuesday, October 17th, the then 22-year-old Cheyenne Balos left her two-year-old son in the care of her cousin, 29-year-old Timothy Powell, as she'd done many times before. The grisly details of what transpired that night were yet to be revealed. But during the course of the interview, an important piece of evidence came to light. A home surveillance system had been recording everything. Investigators knew that if there was anything incriminating on that footage, it would likely be erased soon. They moved quickly to intercept Kimberly at her home and confront her about the footage. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Investigator B&L, I'll help you. How are you? Could you give me a little bit? going. Okay. What's your name? You live here? Yeah. Is your name Timothy? No. No, he is. No, no. Oh, okay. It's easy. He's still inside. Yeah. Okay. Are you uh, Kimberly? Yeah. Chance? Okay, how you doing? I'm Detective Barrett with Holly Hill PD. Oh, this yeah. is my partner, uh, Jared Bianelli. Can we speak over here for a moment? I'm sure you're aware of the situation with the <coughs> grandchild, went to the hospital the other day and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here to investigate because DCF had some issues with <laughs> the wound and everything. Are you, are you kind of apprised to what's going on? Yeah, because I, well, I wasn't here. I was, my mom just came home from the hospital, and uh, I was at the hospital with her. I came home. He changed his diaper, and he called her. He said, come get him. You want me to go get him? Yeah, in a second. Um, DCF, I guess they said that you'd given them some video. Is it Timothy, or how do you pronounce his name? Timothy. Timothy, okay, with the with the child prior to him calling mom. Is that accurate? You gave her the video? Mm -hmm. Okay. My camera system went off, so I don't got to pay the bill on it. Okay, but it was it was valid for that day, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. like, so there should be a mm -hmm. whole day's worth from that day? Should be. Yeah, okay. Is there any way that you can give that to me real fast? Yeah. While investigators searched through countless hours of surveillance footage, Timothy made an unexpected appearance. He begrudgingly spoke about that night, but was open about his relationship to Cheyenne and her baby boy. Yeah, if you can just give me the whole day's, day's worth, that'd be awesome. Hey, how's it going, man? Hi. Yeah, if we need anything, we can give you a call. Okay. okay. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'll give, uh, I'll leave a card here later on. Okay. Need to talk to you though, Timothy. Are you willing to come and give me a statement about what happened the other night? Not at the moment. I have to make sure that you weren't trying to intentionally harm this kid because he was pissing you off. Okay. I got so many pictures of me and him together, him laughing, playing with me. I'm not saying so that you don't. I'm not saying that you don't care for the kid. Because I ain't told him that I watch him two days a week. Which, More than two days a week? Oh, yeah. I watch him every day since I work. Do you know much about him? Not a lot, no. Is there anything about him that persuades you to believe that he's capable mm -hmm. of harming anybody or particularly your child? No, I didn't think he would even have ever done it until I asked him the other night and he smiled and he told me. It made me really mad, so I had to leave and have him come back. When I was playing back the video, that he was being with him, like, the whole day that he was walking in that scene stand, he was on the place the whole time. And he was crying because he wanted to get out. And my cousin was like, he kept crying up in the court too. And he kept squirting him with, like, a spray bottle. While squirting a small child with water may not be illegal, it certainly raised red flags for investigators. It didn't save on your mom's phone, but we have it through her Blink account. It yeah. shows you kind of getting frustrated with the kid all day. He was turning and kicking and everything. Yeah, she like would get. threatening to wash his mouth out and squirting him with the, with the bottle. Nothing wrong with that. It's water. 
Nothing wrong with that. Okay. It's water. What about the soap? So the when someone cusses, that's how I was raised. You cuss, you wash them up out I understand soap. that. You that's know, not child. That ain't child that, abuse. Like y'all, like y'all assume it. But it's not your child, is what I'm saying. He's under my watch. So and that doesn't matter. He, he's under my watch, and she knows. She that, knew about it. She never said says. I couldn't do it. That's not what the law says, though. Investigators are beginning to understand the kind of person they're dealing with. It's time to take a look at what started all of this. So the incident happened while she was at work. She got a call from the cousin. He called her stating what was happening over the regular phone. And she's like, no, FaceTime me and show me. That's when she saw how much blood was there. So she rushed home and had to take him. She took him straight to the hospital. In her interview with the detectives, Cheyenne informed them that Timothys called her while she was at work on Facebook first and then FaceTimed her. When she saw how terribly her child was bleeding, she left work and rushed him to the hospital immediately. He told me what happened. What did he say happened? He said he was wiping him with a diaper wipe mm -hmm. and it's something about glass. He, he saw he saw something about glass and then he saw blood. That's all he told me. Glass? With the, That's what he told us. the kid get out of the crib or something? And, uh, he, I know he said he broke one of my globes like what, a couple days ago? Three, four days ago? Yeah, I guess that's what uh, Cheyenne was saying, that there's possibly a, but you got like a snow globe full of roses or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I got like, he bought me one like every time they came out, so. Okay. I went in there to play with them, right? And I smelled <laughs> poop. He had to make it go out. And when I was wiping them, so yeah, had all right here. So I was cleaning it. And when I was cleaning it up here, on, in the diaper wipe, I felt something a little bit hard after I did it. Mm -hmm. And when I took it out, it was itty -pitty, any itty bitty piece of glass. Okay. And that's when I freaked out and went and called Cheyenne. I didn't tell her at the time because I figured she was going to beat the out of me. Because, Where's you know, the glass? I got thrown away that night along with the diaper. No, say where, I mean, where was the glass? It was mixing the shit. Based on the hospital, based on CPT, um, it says that the cousin said that he had found a glass in the diaper and just kept wiping. But with the injuries that are on the child, that story does not. Adam. But you know, I mean, you're starting to see how this is looking. Though, yeah, right? I know. Y'all gonna blame me because I'm a well, guy. No. That's all it is. That I know guy how... is too precise, and you're the only one with him. And that video shows you with him. Yeah, right it shows me changes his diaper. There is footage due to the fact that there's cameras around. So in the video, you can see something's deleted because at the beginning, you can see him changing, changing whatever. And then you can see something in his hand, and he walks away, baby screaming. Then all, then it cuts out. Then it goes straight to him picking up the child and walking. Out. And that's the cousin, right? That's the cousin. Okay. I was changing his diaper. Okay, so what happened prior to that? I was not doing nothing. Where morning. I'm going to is that apparently you think it's okay to squirt him with the with the water, which is what it is. You think it's okay to wash it's his so, mouth out with soap. I don't put a lot. I only put a How guy. is it that we're not oh supposed to believe that you may have Well, y'all not going to believe me because I'm a guy. That's how, how well, I'm not gonna. Work. I'm not going to believe a lie when I see one. So I just want you to be a truth. Now, if you got frustrated or something or something else happened, that's fine. But what I'm telling you is that people who do this for a living, who are specifically trained to identify mm -hmm. wounds like that, listen to me talk because you've been very abrasive this whole time. Yeah, I've been trying to be God. professional. Okay, I'll okay? listen to you. Okay. People that understand those things forensically can look at a, a cut like that and say that is not indicative with these circumstances, like a random piece of glass being know. in there. Okay. It's precise and deliberate. That doesn't happen randomly. And that doesn't happen from a piece of glass, at least not like that. There was glass in the floor. My grandpa found a bunch of glass. I found a bunch of glass. There was glass in on the, the floor, but he's yeah. in a playpen. And it was right? in the playpen. How did he get into the playpen? I don't know. A few days ago. But he's covered. About, about a week ago. About, about a week ago, he dropped the book. He hit a globe down on the floor. He mm. had a bunch of globes with the flowers in them. And yeah. I don't know if we got out of the glass or not, but we found I found two pieces of glass in his playpen. But again, that's like the and glass is even Cheyenne's do that. been. Um, he said that they found she's found toys and found things in his diaper. And he always she told me the complete opposite. I'm not trying to. You. I literally just spoke with him. She said it was the complete opposite of that. She, he doesn't put stuff like toys or cars or anything in his diaper, she's which is why it. I told you like that's not indicative with his behavior. And she took him to like the forensic people. Like I'm telling you, they interviewed this. him and all that. And that's like not the behavior that he is. I know when she went supposed to the CPS, so. the CPS doctor. I know. Yeah, the CPT, CPS. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like that. It's a it's a lack though. It's not a tear. I know. You know what I mean. So you're saying you're pulling and, and wiping. Yeah, maybe could have caused an abrasion or a laceration, but how the hell would it go all the way around, that almost all not, the way around? That I do not know. Where they had to almost kind of glue his, his private back uh, on there. That's what um, she was telling me. So what, what would what would make you pull on it so hard that that would happen? I, or I wipe so hard that that would happen? The stuff is crusted on there. So you see, that's where the injury is. And the hospital had to glue it. Oh, my. 
Okay. So you're thinking it's from pulling and wiping too hard. Yeah. Okay. And mixed with that little piece of glass I found inside the um the baby wipe. What I'm saying, like take take glass out of the equation, okay. dude. That laceration is too clean for glass. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Like a rough edge piece of glass is gonna is gonna be ragged. This thing was clean across, almost like someone was like trying to cut his. Dick off. I mean, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it has that that outline. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it's perfectly saying. around. I mean, it's it's circular. By this time, investigators had been made fully aware of what Timothys is suspected of doing. There was no glass in the diaper. Is it fair to say? I mean, he was he was he frustrated the hell out of you. So when you're if, yeah, if when rubbing was, caused he, that, he was kicking, screaming, you know, swinging at me. I mean, yeah, I used one arm to hold him down, try to do it, and I was doing this with him, try, and then I did this really hard, trying to, you know, trying to while I was trying to hold him down, yes. Okay. But I wasn't trying to, you know, be rough. I was trying to change his diaper because he had a blowout. But okay. when I was doing it, he was kicking Is it screen. fair to say you kind of lost your temper a little bit during Yeah, this? but not intentionally, though. Well, I'm not like, saying that you intentionally, like, but you lost your temper. Not to hurt him intentionally. That's what you're trying to say. Try well, to the kid's hurt. I'm, okay, I'm happy that we're talking. And I, and I, I, I want to believe out. you. I do. I want to believe you. I was freaking out when it happened. So you're saying that it happened when you were cleaning off the crusty stuff. You pulled too hard. You started scrubbing too hard. Probably out of frustration, yeah, but you weren't trying to hurt him. Yeah. Okay. Is that probably, what I'm getting here? Yeah, I was probably rubbing okay. too hard, and I wasn't realizing I was trying to hold him down. And I was just being too rough. With him, trying did to you cut this kid at all? Did you no. use an instrument to try to cut this kid? No, sir. Did he Did he piss you off so bad that you were trying to cut his off? No, sir. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. Okay, because I want to believe you. I'm not I'm out here calling everybody liars and, and criminals. I, I get I get people get frustrated. We everybody gets frustrated, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Especially with kids. If you're dealing with them day in and day out, I understand. Okay. But no, I did not try to turn intentionally hurt that kid. I really did not try to. And you didn't use anything else but the wipes. No, sir. You didn't take a knife or anything like that. No. So I don't even own a pocket knife. All the other knives, all the knives in the kitchen. So when I go through that video a little more in depth, I'm not gonna see you using any kind of instrument outside, just wipe them. Yes, sir. Okay. Timothys Powell was arrested and charged with aggravated child abuse nine days after this interview. On October 30th, 2023, Timothys Powell has pled not guilty and is currently awaiting trial at the Volusia Branch Jail. Cheyenne and her baby boy immediately moved out of the Dickerson home and into a safe environment.